What's up everybody? It's Jason from EECC Travels and today's video is all about camera gear and what I use to shoot our vlogs here at EECC Travels. So over the years, I've had a lot of people reach out, leaving comments and asking the question, Jason, what do you use as far as camera gear? So I'm gonna talk about that in today's video, so let's get started. All right, so let's get into the meat and potatoes of it, which is the camera and the microphone that I'm currently shooting on. The one I'm actually shooting on right now is my Canon R6. It is my latest camera that I got. It's the one I'm currently using. I absolutely love this camera. It has been a game changer for me. I pair it with the 14 35 millimeter ultra wide angle lens, which I love because this particular lens for our style of vlogging suits us very well because we're always in selfie mode and we're wanting to capture us and the scenery that's behind us. So with the uh, wide angle, ultra wide angle of the 14 millimeter, I can zoom way in and get lots of scenery behind us, which is really, really, really cool. Like this. See, really deep, right? Let's go back up. So I'm really loving the ultra wide angle, especially in selfie mode of this particular lens. The only drawback is I'm not able to zoom in very well at only 35 millimeter. So you can't really like, for instance, when we were in Alaska and we were well watching, I was like, oh, I wish I would have brought my kit lens, which is a 24 105. So I'm able to zoom in at 105 a lot better with that kit lens that I got with my R, but I didn't have it with me in Alaska. So when we were well watching, couldn't really zoom in that good. So I actually used my phone for a lot of that footage and Elisa did too, but that will be coming with me. So I got the best of both worlds there now. All right, let's get into the microphones. So these are my three microphones that I have right now. I'm currently using the Go 2 to record on right now. So that's what you're hearing. I love this microphone. It's my Go 2. It's the one I'm using all the time. I also have an NTG, which is great for recording live music. It's got a button on it you can hit. It says minus 20 decibels. So you can pick up and record live music without it clipping. So you get a better sound out of your recording. And then I also have the Video Micro, which this is like my third one now. I currently use this one as my backup or I'll put it on my GoPro, all three are great microphones. I would recommend any of them. The micro comes in at 50 bucks. The GoTo, which is the one I'm using now on my camera, is $99, $100, and the NTG comes in at $250. All right, GoPros. I have a eight and I have a nine. I've had a seven and sold it to a friend of mine. I love them both probably gonna get me a 10 pretty soon. I also have me a media mod, which has a hot shoe, I'm sorry, a cold shoe mount on it so that you can add lights or microphones to it. I also have a, a little Joby suction cup that I'll put on my window or who knows, like a lot of times we're on a cruise ship, I'll suction cup it to the sliding glass door going out to our balcony and pick up some really great time lapses or something like that, but just really good tools to have when you're trying to get the shot. I also have a clamp right here that I use uh, quite often in different situations to try to get shots. Like well, I've had them on air boats. You can clamp this to pretty much anything. Just a good tool to have when you're out there trying to get the shot. Okay, now my gimbals. I have a Smooth Q2 foam gimbal. Okay, this is what we use for when we go live or just whenever we need to use the phone. We don't go live much and I don't use this very often, but that is the gimbal that I do have for my phone and I like it. I definitely recommend buying a little tripod that screws on the bottom though because it's pretty small and sometimes you can hit the buttons accidentally and 
things go crazy on you. And then my big gimbal for my big camera is the DJI Ronin SC. That's the gimbal that I have for my big cameras that I use. I don't use gimbals a whole lot, but there are times when you're gonna need them. I'll typically use them for like ship tours or you know, if we're gonna walk somewhere really far and I want it to be smooth because I know we're gonna talk a lot, then I'll definitely use that. Oh, also, use these for your microphones. These are your little wind muffs. You can pick these up on Amazon. They're great. You're gonna need them if you film outside quite a bit. My drone, I got a little DJI Spark. I call it Sparky. They don't make that one anymore. The Mavic Mini's taken its place. I'll probably upgrade to that or maybe the Mavic 2. I don't know, but this one's working really good. I love this thing. It's small. It does the job. It does exactly what I need it to do. And I love it. Oh, I almost forgot my little DJI Osmo Pocket 2 gimbal. This thing here is great. Like if you're on a scooter or you're on a bus and you don't wanna take your big gimbal and you just need a small gimbal solution because you need something stable because you're like moving a lot or things of that nature that's gonna be rocky or bumpy, take this with you and you will be able to get the shot. It will be smooth. It does such a great job. It's the same little camera that's on a drone. Also, I got my little ND filters here. I got some Freewells, which are fantastic. They're game changers. I highly recommend them, especially if you're gonna shoot a lot of stuff outside. You need these things. They are like game changers. I have two versions. I have the two to five, also have the six to nine, which is for really, really, really sunny days. This right here just is a game changer. I love it. It allows you to get the look that you're wanting, get the color that you're needing without having to fool with all the camera settings. All you gotta do is just turn this little baby right here until you get the desired color you want to get the shot. I love these things, plus it's got a little magnetic cover for it. They're on the pricey side. They're about a hundred bucks a piece, but they are worth it. They're really good ND filters. You can get cheaper ones that do great job as well, but these came highly recommended and I really wanted to get the best that I could out of my ND filters, so I went with those. Absolutely love them. I just got them, so I'll start using them here and a lot of the footage that you'll start to see coming out real soon. So that's really pretty much all my gear. Oh, here's my R. This is my R, and also I have um, lens hoods for all of my lenses, which are great. It's just kind of like a sun visor for your lens if it's real sunny outside, you know, you just need all these little things that kind of help you block out unwanted light so that you can get the best shot you possibly can. Also, I have my, I'm seeing things in front of me, that's why I'm looking down, all this stuff is like laying here. This is my monopod. I use this all the time as my selfie stick. I'll take my camera, screw it to the top of this, and I'll just be in selfie mode, whatever it is, it's really cool. Uh, you can drop it down, make it really tall, you can make it really short, and it just kind of allows you to film something without being real wobbly. Kind of makes it easy, I guess you could say. I don't know. I use it sometimes, sometimes I don't. I don't know, but it's cool. it's cool to have. But yeah, I think that is all. Oh, selfie stick. Y'all need one of these. This is the Autumn Tech selfie stick. It goes up at about three feet. It's got a little remote control. Great little selfie stick. By the way, y'all, all of this gear that I'm talking about that I use is in our Amazon store. The link will be down below. If you guys have any of the same equipment, make sure that you leave a comment in the comment section. I wanna hear what you have. If there's something that I don't have that you think I need, let me know. I would love to hear from you. Oh, I almost forgot. This is a new one. <laughs> this is, hold on. I have to look in my notes here. Hoem iSteady Pro 4.3 Axis Gimbal Stabilizer for my GoPro. This one's a new one. 
I haven't used it but like once, so I kind of forgot about it, but. So I have gimbals for my GoPros. I have gimbals for my cameras. Definitely need stabilization when you're out there trying to get footage because you don't want it to be too shaky. You don't want it all smooth. You need a little bit of like shake in it just so that, you know, it feels real. But you're only as good as your tools. And I have a lot of them and I'm continuing to accumulate more. Oh, one more thing. Have you a little power bank? So we do a lot of traveling. I have a little 110 here that I can use. Use this on the plane a lot from editing videos or if I need to charge my phone and the charger in the seat, the USB in the seat doesn't work because you know that happens a lot. That USB's here, got a light. Just a neat little thing to have on you at all times. A lot of times we run out of USBs in the hotel rooms. So we have extras here. We're able to charge all our gear when we need it. Definitely a must. If you're gonna have all of this camera gear with you, you definitely need a way to charge it in abundance. So yeah, I think that I covered everything, you guys. Oh, I can't forget the very first camera we ever got that we kind of built our channel on is the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II. This thing right here is a beast and I still would recommend it to anybody. It's a great little point and shoot camera. It has built-in stabilization. It works and performs awesomely in low light. It is just a great little camera and we have this as a backup camera if we need it. Probably never get rid of this thing. I've actually been through three of them. This is my third one, but this is always in our arsenal just in case and you never forget your first, right? So yeah, that's all of, oh, one more thing, the gear bag. So this is the gear bag that I'm using. It is a Heinz Eagle. It's a, a padded backpack. And that's what I use to put all my gear in whenever we're flying, going somewhere abroad. I'll take and store all my gear in that and it keeps it pretty good and protected. So yeah, that's everything you guys. I hope that I covered it okay. This is the first time I've ever done a gear video, a camera video. Hope I did it justice, not really sure, but this is all the stuff that I have and I wanted to share that with you. I didn't wanna to get too into technical terms and the pricing of everything. I just kinda wanna give you a brief overview of the camera gear that I'm using. Oh, and don't forget the light. I got some lights here that I use, or a light that I use on my camera at all times. It doesn't come off because so many times I need it, and I used to not carry it with me. Well, now it stays on my cold shoe mount, which I have some cold shoe mounts on there as well so that I can mount my microphone and my light at the same time. So definitely get you some extra cold shoe mounts so that you can accessorize your camera with the things that you need, like lights and microphones. So yeah, and all of this equipment again, guys, is in our Amazon store. The link will be down below. If you are new to our channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button and that notification bell we post videos weekly. We would love to have you guys. We appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.